And here we join young Rob Johnson on his daily walk through the neighborhood. Will Trouble looking for trouble. Will Trouble find Rob? Or will Rob find trouble? We'll just have to wait and see. Now in the local park, Rob looks for fun once again. What says? He is fired. What well, seems to be a bottle of what they call Diet Coke. Rob knows what he has to do. Make a bomb. But will this bomb work? Perhaps not. Is it a victory? No. But is it a failure? No. Rob got free coke. But wait! What's that in the bushes there? It's a hobo. Possibly drunk. Rob goes to confront him, but is not ready for the response. The hobo gets out of the bushes. Uh, says that he should go. What day is it? The hobo drunkenly asks Rob the hell the time is, and they attack. I said, leave me alone. I don't need your help. I don't need your pity. <laughs> Oh, Rob oh. laughs in the hobo's face oh, and starts so beating the crap out of him. Oh, Rob beats up the hobo and the hobo goes down. Oh, but <laughs> Look man, I, I just wanted to help you. Rob only wants to help and gives him a You're mentos. really sick. I mean seriously. The hobo is out for the count. Possibly the Mentos killed him. Maybe it was the Felix t-shirt. Time for more fun! Oh no, I'm gone to Don't worry, young Johnson. You will be fine, as usual. No, the guard dog snarls viciously. What to do now? Oh yes, what will young Johnson do? What materials are there for him to use? It's troublemaking. A permanent marker. One of the price's favourite tools, along with paper and the duct, duct tape. But what is Johnson writing? Oh, what a naughty boy you are, Johnson. This family sucks. For life, not just for today, but forever, for life. With a gleeful expression on his face, Johnson gets ready to stick it. But where? What will he do? And how will the participants react? The same will start for life. And indeed, how will the third react? An extreme shock? With panic? Or with strange head bobbing movement as it seems to be reacting? Just wait and see. 
Jonathan seems to be having a bit of trouble here, but no, like an animal, he rips it off with his teeth. But how will Young Johnson get out of the sicky situation? Through the window? No. Seems to be too risky. So instead, we just sprint for the front door. And out he goes, never to be seen again. By the same thing anyway. Once again, young Rob looks looks for fun, but at the time in his local park. The hat, red shirt, they must be a communist. I'll deal with this the only way I know how! Fight to the death! No, that's a bit too extreme. Stop my shoot out! We're losing now, communist scum. Isn't that right, Rob? And once again, the communist scum is losing. How much longer will it be? I'll finish you off! Communist scum, when you will you accept that? You are defeated! And he goes down. One more victory for democracy, eh, Rob? And Rob returns home from a busy day of killing hobos. Oh crap, you're still alive? No, I'm not. I am zombie five. The zombified hobo! What to do now? What will happen to our hero? He seems to have the lower hand in this situation. How can you kill the undead? The victorious hobo leaves Rob to die. And we leave. Time to leave the dead dead. Wherever they may be. Lying on the ground. Or under the ground.